Hey everyone, Zane here, and today we are going to make a comparison between Microsoft Authenticator versus Google Authenticator. Two-factor authenticator is one of the best ways to protect your online accounts from hackers by requiring not only your password, but also a code sent to your phone. You add an extra layer of security. And with cyber threats on the rise in 2024, using two-factor authenticator is no longer optional. It is a must. Now, when it comes to two-factor authenticator apps, Microsoft and Google have two of the most popular options, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's start with Microsoft Authenticator. It's been around for a while and has a lot of features packed into it. Of course, it offers basic two-factor authenticator for logging into your accounts, but it also integrates seamlessly with Microsoft's ecosystem. So if you are already using Microsoft 365, OneDrive or Outlook, it works like a charm. What's great about Microsoft Authenticator is that it also supports passwordless sign-ins. You can log in into your Microsoft account by just using your fingerprint or a PIN. No need to even type in your password. And this feature is called the use of biometrics. Another cool feature is push notifications. Whenever you try to log in into your account, you get a push notification on your phone asking you to prove or deny the request. It's quick, simple, and super secure. Now, when talking about Google Authenticator, this app has been around since 2010, and it's one of the simplest and most widely used two-factor authenticator apps. Google Authenticator generates one-time passcodes that you use alongside your password for account security. It's very straightforward, just scan a QR code, and Google Authenticator starts generating 30-second codes. It's also lightweight, doesn't take up much space on your phone, and works with almost any service that supports two-factor authenticator. But while it's simple, there is a major drawback. There are no cloud backups. If you lose your phone or upgrade to a new one, you will need to manually resync your accounts. So be careful of this point. Now let's talk about the new features. Both apps have evolved over the years, and in 2024, they each offer some cool new features. Let's break them down. For Microsoft Authenticator, it now allows multi-device sync, so your accounts stay secure across multiple phones or tablets. It also supports password management, helping you keep track of your passwords securely across different devices. On the other hand, when talking about Google Authenticator, Google recently rolled out Cloud Backup as a new feature, meaning if you lose your phone, you can restore your two-factor authenticator codes on a new device, finally. Plus, it now has dark mode for those who like a sleek look. Both apps have improved significantly in 2024, but depending on what features you prioritize, one may suit you better. Now, there is a question that will jump into your mind, which is more secure? Both apps are incredibly secure, but they take different approaches. For Microsoft Authenticator, it uses multiple factor authentication beyond just 2FA. It includes biometrics, as I said, like fingerprints, face scans, and PIN codes. Plus, with its integration into a broader Microsoft ecosystem, you get an extra layer of encryption and security. Google Authenticator, on the other hand, is simpler. It doesn't rely on your Google account, so there is less risk if your account gets compromised. However, it's not as feature-rich when it comes to multi-layer security. And until recently, it didn't have cloud backup, which made it a bit more vulnerable in case of phone loss. Ease of use and interface. When it comes to ease of use, Google Authenticator wins in simplicity. It's minimalistic and does the job without any extra bells and whistles. Just a scan and go. Microsoft Authenticator is a bit more complex, but in a good way. It has a modern interface with easy navigation and more control over how you want to log in into your accounts. If you are someone who likes more options, this one might be for you. So, which one should you go for? Here's my take. If you are deep into the Microsoft ecosystem using Windows, Microsoft 365, or other services, Microsoft Authenticator is the way to go. It offers seamless integration and additional features like passwordless sign-in and push notifications. If you want something simple and universal that works across platforms with minimal setup, Google Authenticator still has the edge in simplicity. With the new addition of Cloud Backup, it's a lot more user-friendly than before. In conclusion, 
Both apps are excellent choices and it really comes down to what works best for your personal or professional setup. And whatever you choose, you will get a high level of security. So you can simply download both applications, try both of them and determine which one is better for you. And that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share and see you in a new video.